Moving right along in our Unit 7 uh, notes on memory, and this one being about encoding, the first stage of memory, essentially. So this encoding is getting information in. So we're back to this picture of Darth Vader and what we encode. We don't actually have a picture of Darth Vader in our brains. We have some mental representation that the cognitive system, our neural network in our brain, understands. The same goes for letters and words and sounds and anything and everything that we understand in our brain is mentally represented so that the cognitive system understands and making that happen is encoding. So how do we encode? Some information like our route to school is automatically processed in that once we understand it, we just know it and we do it, okay? However, new information or novel information like a friend's new cell phone number or a new friend's name, it requires some attention and effort, okay? So we're gonna talk about the difference between both of these. Automatic processing. There's an enormous amount of information that is processed effortlessly by us. And we do this all the time. Okay, in that if it's automatically processed, we do not have to consciously think about it. These three things are what we automatically process, and you need to make sure that you have these written down and you understand all three. Space. So while reading a textbook, you automatically encode the place of a picture on a page. Okay, um, time being we unintentionally note when the events take place in a day. So uh, when did you eat last? Maybe it was mid morning, you had a snack. Okay, you don't say to yourself, I am now eating a snack and it is 10 a.m. No, you don't do that. You just kind of know when you do those things. And then frequency, you effortlessly keep track of how often things that have ha that happen to you. Um, or how often you do things. So when you're eating pizza, you don't say, I am now eating my fourth piece of pizza. I must remember this later. No, you just think to yourself, oh yeah, I had what? Oh yeah, I had about four, four pieces of pizza. You just understand those things. Now the opposite of automatic would be effortful. Effortful processing of new information. So when novel information committed to memory requires effort, like learning a concept from a text or from your teacher or a new experience, right? Such processing leads to durable and accessible memories. The adage of practice makes perfect rings very true when it comes to memory. And that the more you practice, the more effort you put into what you learn, the more durable and accessible, meaning for tests, that information becomes. So this says a lot about our learning and what we should be do as students in academia life, right? And that we should be putting effort into what we learn. We shouldn't just be sitting there listening or sitting there reading the information. We've got to think about and actively, effortfully process the information so that it becomes more durable. Let's talk about a few memory effects, three in total. The next in line, now you have to know each of these vocabulary terms, okay? So the next in line effect is when your recall is better for what other people say, but poor for a person just before you in line. Think about when you're in elementary school and you're learning to read and you have to read aloud in class. You are worried about what you have to read. So let's say like your teacher assigns paragraphs and you have the third paragraph. You are worried about what you have to read and aren't paying attention to what the person before you said. Therefore, this would be an encoding failure. Make sure you write that down about next in line. This is an encoding failure because you're not even paying attention to what the person in front of you is saying. Therefore, it's not getting into your brain. The spacing effect, this is another one you should really take to heart. We retain information better when our rehearsal is distributed over time, meaning we aren't cramming the night before a test. You're spacing out your study. Studies have shown that if you study a bit every night, you'll remember the information better than if you cram the night before a test. And that spacing it out over some weeks or days is better. The serial, as in number, position effect. This is also called the primacy recency effect, and make sure you write that down. This is when your recall is better for first and last items, but poor for middle items on a list. 
Okay, so can you write down as many United States presidents' names that you can remember? Go ahead and do that now, and you can pause the video. You probably remembered our first maybe one or two, maybe even three or four presidents, and you probably remember our last at least two presidents, right? So, and you probably have a very foggy recollection of those in the middle. This is the serial position or primacy recency effect. Visual encoding with imagery. So mental pictures or imagery are a powerful aid to effortful processing, especially when combined with semantic encoding. So showing the adverse effects of tanning and smoking in a picture may be more powerful than simply talking about it. So this picture on the left here, these are identical twins at age 61, one living in Florida, very sunny environment, one living in a non-sunny environment, right? Or maybe she at least uses sunscreen. So, and then this picture kind of being photoshopped, right? Showing the effects of smoking on one side and not on the other. Um, so that visual, that imagery makes it more meaningful, more powerful. So active versus passive processing we should talk about, and you should really evaluate how you study. An active processing is when you visualize what you're trying to remember. You actively try to put it in your memory by rehearsing it, and the same can be said for studying. Whereas passive processing is you just tried to memorize it. There was no real processing. You only need to remember it right now. And again, the same is always said for studying. Are you actively processing the information or are you just passively getting it and trying to memorize it?